Today we're going to go to the bees and have a look at uh, how they're doing and, and so on. I might have to feed them some honey as well because there's two hives there that I have uh, slightly underfed which, which shouldn't really occur but unfortunately it's happened now so we're just on our way now to, uh, to go and see the bees. So normally you wouldn't really feed your bees uh, in the mid of winter really but uh, today is a sunny day, it's calm so Plus I have already some um, frames with honey in them, so I'm going to feed them that. Um, normally this situation wouldn't occur, so you have to usually have enough honey in the in the house, but for some whatever reason these, these bees didn't have it, so that's what I'm doing today, just going and feeding them. You know? As you can see there, the bees are going off and uh, doing their cleansing flights and coming back. And this is mid-January. So I basically have everything prepared now. I have the, the brew box with the newspaper, the food. And I'm going to take off that roof. I'm going to put this on top of there. I'm going to be very quick about it because I don't want any kind of brew chilling or anything like that going on. And I just have to stop the filming for a while and I'll, I'll get back to you in a second. As you can see there are the bees. Now I'm just going to be quick. Um, it's a small cluster as it looks really kind of small but in reality it's actually much bigger than it looks I'm gonna put the, the food just above it and then I'm gonna insulate it with with newspaper so that they don't basically get too cold you know so now I've just insulated it with newspaper so there should be actually um, no heat escaping anything like that and um, any kind of emergency feeding like this obviously is an emergency situation you wouldn't really do this unless you really had to, you know, um, as you're going to do more damage than good. And you can see how quick I had to be about it, you know, because I didn't want anything to each other. Um, 